Uh -oh. Hi, I'm Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, we're back in Dragale Lost and the Doomsday Getaway event. So everybody's just killing each other now. Great. They didn't tell me who died next. But where would it be fun in just spitting out? Here's a clue. The victim is one of the people who isn't here right now. Better go take a look around. Someone who isn't here and now. Cleo, Norwin and Mikoto. Spread out. We have never proved that any of them has actually died. Alright. Super Carmen's probably just running her mouth again. Aww, you li your little hopes are so pitiful. Jeez, I wonder what she actually looks like. Cleo and Norwin said they were headed to a cave over in this direction. Oh, really now? Whoa. What was that noise? That's Cleo! Cleo's body? Man, am I ever happy to see you. She's dead. She's over here. Cleo, what's wrong? She's dead! Oh, crap. No! Uh-oh. Ellie, is she? She has no breath and no pulse. Oh, crap! It's not possible, man! I heard screams and came to see. Oh, Cleo, not you. I'm sorry, Norwin, but it's true. How could this have happened? Actually, that's my question for you. What the hell happened to Cleo, Norwin? What? Why are you asking me? Oh no! You trying to pit them against each other. You were with Cleo yesterday afternoon. But what about last night, huh? You can't seriously suspect me in this. Oh, I can suspect you in whatever I want. Stop it, Randall. No one would never... I mean, he couldn't. If I may, your highness, I understand your hesitancy to cast suspicion on your friends. But given the circumstances, Randall's question is not entirely unwarranted. It's just hear what he has to say, yeah? If he's innocent, he's got nothing to hide. Very well. Last night, Cleo and I went to the cave in order to lay it out with Luca's body. Once there, we sensed a strange manner from deep within the cave and went to investigate. However, the caverns were more complex than we had imagined. She and I became separated. I only found my way out just now. Lost and separated is a fairly convenient story, don't you think? Considering that you suspect me, it's actually quite inconvenient. You want to try that story again, pal? Maybe make it a little more believable? Enough, both of you. I will not have anyone doubting our friends without proof. Indeed, all of this jumping at shadows might just be just what Carmen and Skiller want us to do. Oh, balls. No, I understand their suspicions. Looking at it objectively, my story does not hold a great deal of water. Which means you should lock me up. Come on, that's ridiculous. It is not just for everyone else's sake that I make this suggestion. Being locked up will allow me to rest easier as well. There's a small basement in this hut. We can put him there for the time being. Are you sure you're alright with this? Yes, I'm sure. Because I am not the killer. It's actually doopy. Well, poor Norman has been locked away. That's hardly the end of the matter. Yeah, I mean, I know I said what I said, but I don't actually think old Norman there murdered Luca and Cleo. Then why did you say all that stuff? I can't shake this feeling there's somebody messing with us, you know? I think Skill and Carmen made it clear that is exactly what they're doing. No, it ain't just this whole game thing. It's more like I'm a dog with being pulled around on a leash I can't see. I just keep wondering if there's some way to get us step ahead of whatever this is. What's up? Sinoa, you look upset. What happened? Yeah, what did happen? I searched the ruins of a nearby house and have found this note. Wait, what? Five days have passed since we were all forced to participate in Skiller's game. Whoa, what? Oh! There's likely a note left by a former inhabitant of this island. But there's more, listen here. We all swore we'd die rather than kill each other, and over the past five days, that is exactly what has been taking place. Worry ate at me. Would any of my friends slip? Would they choose to save themselves and become a full participant in the game? That's when I realized one of my friends, my live friends, wasn't who they claimed to be. They were a fake. My true friend had actually died five days ago. Skiller had disguised herself as my friend. Is that what's happening here? I'm afraid so. In other words, one of us here is not a friend, but Skiller in disguise. Well, that sucks. Uh, you know, that actually simplifies things. We just have to find out which of us is Skiller and then take them down. Yes, but how do we do that? Exactly. It's actually me, Doobie! I'm killing you guys off all along. Hey, uh, hey, Ellie, you need something? Why do you want to talk to me all alone? 
I need to discuss something difficult, and I think you may be the only person who will understand what I have to say. Is it Baskilla? Do you know who she is? No, I don't have the faintest idea, which is why we need to talk. Uh, okay. Do you recall what Carmen said about a person left standing being permitted to leave the island? Yeah, she said something like that, but I'm going to take a big old pass on doing anything that creeper says. And yet, if we continue as we have been, we'll all simply perish one by one. If you've got a point to make here, I, sh I sure wish you'd do it faster. Don't you see, Randall? If only one of us will be permitted to leave this island... Uh oh! Ellie's the killer! Ellie is killer in disguise. So is Ellie- re the real Ellie actually already dead? <laughs> oh no, is she already dead? Why don't try murderinos and murderinas? The mourner of the little sweet tragedy was on us yet again. Give me a T! R! A! Not again! You better believe it's again, bub! You got fresh corpse just waiting for you. And then there were eight. Ah, oh, balls! So it's not Norwin. There's a liar. She's a liar! Oh, this is delightful. Who could it be this time? That came from outside. Ransom's dead! Oh crap. Amano, was that you? What happened? It's... Ranzo! Oh crap. Damn it all, I can't take this anymore. Where do you think... Where do you think you're going, Patia? To find the destroyed Skiller, that's where. And how are you gonna do that when she's right here among us? Maybe the reason you're making all this fuss is because you're Skiller. Me? You think I killed everyone? If you're truly Patia, then no. But I don't know if that is the case. And I don't know if you're really a Manu. Uh oh. Come on everyone, calm down. We need to keep cool heads. He's right. This is a time to stick together like glue, not break apart like not glue. Bricks. Or something, I don't know. We need each other more than ever now. Do we though? Oh, that's poor Ansel. I still, I suppose this means I can be released now. You clearly weren't involved, so I don't see a reason to keep you locked up. In fact, Norway now is now the very furthest person from suspicion. Indeed, for he is the only one of us who could not have done the deed. We should probably stick together from now on. If one of us is Skilla, it's going to be the best for us to not be separated. So we can keep mutual eyes on each other, you mean? Something like that. It's not very nice, but I suppose there's little point in trying to pretty things up at this point. Still, we'll never get through this if we don't all work together. Uh, if I may, did I hear you say something about one of us being Skiller? Uh-oh, does he know? I see, so Skiller may be among us even as we speak. Right, which is why we need a way to suss her out of hiding. The simplest method would be to ask a person a question that they, and that they alone, would know the answer to. We thought of that as well, and spent all last night asking each other questions. Clearly your efforts were for naught, or we would not have been having this conversation. I suppose Skilla must have anticipated that particular tactic. By the way, how exactly is Skilla killing everyone? What do you mean? Luca and Cleo both lack external wounds, and there were no signs of struggles about their persons. Was this the same for Ranzel? They're stealing their souls! Yes, Ranzel was the same. Then we can conclude that they were all killed without offering even token resistance. Luca and Cleo could have been surpri surprised, but Ranzel knew that Skiller was among us. It would not have been easy to catch him unaware. Right, I can't imagine someone killing Ranzel without him even trying to fight back. It's strange, yes, but Skiller is a fiend. There may be methods available to her that cannot be foreseen by us. Yes, that possibility also exists. However, I am not convinced that is all there is to it. The idea she can simply kill us without any resistance is dubious. Oh, that makes sense. And yet that's clearly what's happening, which means it's not dubious at all, no? I think I understand what Norwin is trying to say. If Skiller's actually had the power to kill us with a fort, why is she doing it day by day and one by one instead of simply destroying us all in one fell swoop? Interesting. Perhaps whatever this power of hers it doesn't extend that far. Or perhaps it's bound by certain rules. Rules? Carmen called this a game, did she not? And games have rules. Now that you mention that, I suppose that nasty pig bear thing, whatever she is, never mind, she said it. If there are rules, we need to figure out what they are and do it fast. Perhaps we can learn more if we find more notes from old participants. 
Good idea, Sonoa. Let's focus today's investigations on the private homes left over on the island. Oh, and it's night time. That was quick. It's day night. <laughs> A whole day of searching and still nothing. It's getting dark, but I really don't want to sleep tonight. We've lost one person per night so far. I would like to end that cycle here. Yeah, have little faith that we can do so. The way she's talking doesn't sound like Ellie at all. Then we need to do something instead of standing around wriggling, wringing our hands. Perhaps we could set a watch. Indeed, if we take turns sleeping in sequence, it means someone is always awake to keep an eye on things. Then we should split into groups. Three people remain awake while all the, the others sleep. In that case, I prepare with Elizan. I care not who our third is. You seem very quick to decide that, Amane. Care to share why? I'm the only one who saw Elizan with Randall last night. I didn't hear what they were saying, but they had the look of two people who were arguing with one another. N no, I was merely talking to him about the situation we will find ourselves in. Then why were the who of you alone? Shouldn't the rest of us have been involved with a discussion like that? Guys, this is so weird. Can we please stop with the doubting each other already? Yes, because that is exactly what Skilla wants us to do. Even so, it doesn't mean we can simply throw caution to the wind. If you wish to keep an eye on me, Amane, you are welcome. I have not to hide. Don't you now? Is it necessary to stare at me so? Do you try truly find me so untrustworthy? No. It was all just an excuse. I don't actually distrust you. I know what you're planning, Elizan. I know you want Doopy to be the one who survives. You heard my discussion with Randall. No, but I imagine that to be the sort of thing you'd come up with. And while I understand why you would want the prince to escape if only one can, you are being too hasty. I, I must apologise. On the contrary, I think it's a good thing. If you were Skiller, you wouldn't have thought to say something like that. I think I can trust you now. And I trust you in return, Amani. You came to that decision quickly. Did it not occur to you that I might be lying in an attempt to trick you? I find that extremely unlikely. Because I am the one tricking you. Oh, crap! Uh-oh, why can't I move? Because you are in my web, little one. Struggle where you wish, it will not help. Oh, no! You poor, stupid girl. If you hadn't trusted someone else like this, you might have lived a little while longer. You're not Elizan, you're... Do try to make your soul tasty for me now. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Ah, man is dead. And then there were seven. Ah, balls! <laughs> also, Garlic Dragon is out, so... Alright, so the next one's gonna be available tomorrow. Okay! Well, that's that. I'm gonna do some summoning. Look, Gala! So at least five star ratings are up. And uh, Laxi. Yeah. Yeah, Laxi, of all people. I don't care anymore. Just give me a five star I don't have yet. I'm done. <laughs> Tobias would be nice. Oh no, here we go! Damn it! Well, that is all the time I have for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!